Let's Talk About Cancer was born in the beginning of the pandemic. When the pandemic hit in March of 2020, we tried to figure out how we were gonna do our jobs as outreach and health educators. We decided to develop a lunch webinar and invite community members to bring their lunch and have tacos with us and talk about cancer. The idea was to have informal conversations so people can learn more about cancer from experts such as community members, cancer survivors, oncologists, and cancer researchers. It was very successful. We had people joining from across Arizona and even California. We've successfully transitioned this initiative from online to in-person and done events across the Cashman area, from Yuma to Casa Grande, Nogales, Cochise, and Santa Cruz, including Pascuayaki Tribe. Having researchers and clinicians' presence helps them see the community in their context and be able to assess their community needs. I think it's very important that us, the physicians, are out there. I feel very responsible being the monolingual Spanish or Spanish as first language to talk to them, to help them understand, to educate our patients, to help them in their needs, to prevent cancer, to prevent uh, illnesses, to promote a lifestyle. So I really feel that we as physicians have to come out and talk to them as they do live in places that they don't reach to us, rural places. We always thought it would be a great idea to have taco trucks there to support local businesses. And if you bring the food, people will come. This event series introduces the importance of prevention and early detection. It also helps the community know that there is a comprehensive cancer center in Arizona that is able to attend to all their needs should anyone experience cancer. So we definitely need to be out here. Community members need to meet the oncologists. They need to meet people from the COE so that they understand, um, yeah, these people are trusted. They have our best interests at mind and maybe we should kind of consider some of their suggestions. And I heard from people, they came up and, and told me after the session that they really valued the information, they thought it was well presented, it was easy to understand. And I'll just quote one of the participants, they enjoyed how laid back the, the physicians were and how comfortable they made them feel. The mission of COE is to breed the bridge between the community and the cancer center. And the Let's Talk About Cancer series helps us execute that. It allows us to be able to connect with the community where they're at in their local context and be able to facilitate connection to clinical care. It's a, a different way to have a conversation to talk about cancer. It's in a safe space. It gives people an opportunity to ask questions that they may not be able to have the opportunity to ask researchers or oncologists or patient navigators questions that they may not remember when they're sitting in a doctor's office or they may not get on TV or any other places where people get their information. It allows us to see directly and personally the impact of the work that we're doing in a clinical lab setting, data set setting, um, and the direct effects that that has on our community members. These events also let us know where there's some gaps in how we're thinking about different cancer issues in research areas and ways in which we can better incorporate the community voice to ensure that the work that we're doing truly has relevance to the community. By equipping our communities with more information, we hope that people will know that the University of Arizona Comprehensive Cancer Center is a place that cares about people and offers the best care that comes from innovative researchers, important clinical trials, and caring and forward-thinking clinicians.